Hello everybody, Chris with Hot Spot Metals back again on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out here uh, waiting for the COMEX market to open up. Right now, it is the gold is still sitting there at 12, 13, 1280 and 1543 for silver as they were closed on Friday. In uh, about an hour, four o'clock, the exchanges open up and they will adjust those gold and silver prices up and down according to how they feel they want to open the market at. Sometimes it's very deceptive because you'll come in and you'll say, Wow, silver has jumped up 10 cents because it'll show a little green 10 cents next to the ticker. Sometimes that's just because just before they opened, they dropped the silver spot price down 10 cents and you're really right back where you were on Friday at the close. But that's I have no idea why that kind of goofing around goes on. But I do know that they have the ability to change these opening prices based upon maybe events that have gone on over the weekend to protect their position because if there was a big drop or a big increase, you know, some major event that caused silver and gold to change radically, uh, they're not going to open up and give everybody a bargain price on gold and silver. That's just not the way it's going to work. So they get that hour before the market opens up but we're gonna sign off before that open and I'm gonna just kind of lazily check in on it myself what we're gonna do now let's do a little bit of shopping and by the way um, had a couple of people ask me where do I get started I don't have any gold or silver uh, I just wanted I just want to get started well I mean obviously a great place to start and this is one of the reasons why I put out this uh, gold and silver dealer price report is this so you can come in and you can look and see who has the best deal, the lowest premiums. And it varies from week to week. Uh, but if you are just getting started, I really recommend American Silver Eagles. I wouldn't go dive into gold. Uh, I think gold is great. Uh, however, I think your best possibility for return is silver. And if you're really trying to take that first step uh, to protect yourself in case ATMs are down or you want that price appreciation if the dollar drops a lot, I think silver is the way to go and it's much smaller denomination everybody can afford it you go to the store with a 13 1400 dollar coin and say i'd like my groceries uh you're first of all gold or silver the checkout girl is not going to know what you're even holding you know what you're looking at you're going to want to redeem these kind of things for cash somewhere like, uh, you know, perhaps the banks will start offering money for silver. But the, here in Chicago, there's lots of coin shops. There's bullion exchanges. And, uh, you, of course, you can always do a private sale or take it to a coin shop. Local coin shops are going to be flooded with people if there ever was an event like that. And most of them can handle it. I was surprised. I watched a couple of videos uh, made in different coin shops and these guys have major bank backing they can buy quantities and they can sell quantities you just need to call them uh, apparently uh, you know they're we're not talking about just little mom and pop type places where the owner comes out uh, in a cardigan sweater smoking a pipe and pulls out a bunch of old dusty books of coins to show you these are sophisticated operations and they're well backed Anyway, uh, yeah, look look for those on YouTube. I'm going to try to refer you to one. I'll put a link uh, on Facebook and on my blog and show you those coin shop videos that I saw. Anyway, <clears throat> boy, do I, I sure get off the beaten track here. So much stuff to talk about. Buying silver, first time. Personally, 
I shopped around. I got a lot of advice from people. I ended up making my first purchases from AppMex. And then I started to shop around even further. And at the time, I compared all the prices. SD Bullion started to get very aggressive on prices. And where I am at in Chicago, SD Bullion's not far away. I mean, four hours away in Michigan. Uh, actually, AppMex wouldn't be too impossible of a seven, eight hour drive either if I really uh, wanted to sell. But I tend to go back and forth. Actually, I, I put this chart together because I'm buying from everybody. This week for American Silver Eagles, and I buy Random Year, and I, I recommend Random Year. I don't think you're going to get that much more from Mint Sealed. Uh, argue with me. Convince me differently. But I would start out with one tube or even half a tube. Ten, uh, one tube's 20. Get yourself 10 American Silver Eagles on order just uh, with SD Bullion and I believe with Provident too. Just get over that $100 threshold and you'll get free shipping. I'll have to double check on Provident, but I do know that SD Bullion has very nice shipping rates. Atmex is, I think, over 100 It's free shipping as well. Bold Precious Metals has a very decent price on shipping. They're all going to be 3 or $4. SD Bullion has a flat shipping rate, or used to have a flat shipping rate of $7.77. That was great if you're buying like half a monster box. You really saved a lot on shipping. So this week, the best price on random Silver Eagles is right here at Provident Metals. I would recommend starting right there. And then I was going to bring up one other point about no matter where you buy your metals. I had this slide in there as a part of my video that I did yesterday, and I just kind of pulled it out because it was off topic. But now that I have it, uh, the Atmex Precious Metals Portfolio Tool. It's free. You can log all of your possessions in there. I mean, you can log in there. You can use any email address you want. It's very private. Uh, I There really is no uh, concern on my part with the security of it. But you can list your inventory in there. You, you put in the the date, quantity, price, and then it automatically, as spot price changes, it automatically recalculates your value, and you can even download a PDF of your inventory every week. So I recommend you do that. Now, I also recommend you keep a private spreadsheet of all of your holdings, just so you've got two copies. Keep Download that PDF, put it in at max, keep a spreadsheet for yourself, something that if you want to go to a coin shop or you want to go uh, uh, you want to put these things on eBay or you want to make a private sale you've got an inventory of what you've got and also if you're going to sell to AppMex or SD Bullion these are very fast turnaround uh, you you get on the phone with them you let them know what you have you ship it to them and literally within a day or two there's an automatic deposit into your checking account. So this market is very liquid. Uh, there's always a market out there. Uh, consider letting a, somebody know uh, where the instructions are, what you've got, or at least, you know, something so that uh, if anything happened to you, you know, one of your kids doesn't just go into a coin shop and, and talk to somebody and say, hey, I got these coins, uh, you know, how much can you give me for them? I think they're gold or I think they're silver. Uh, I'm not, I, I think most coin dealers are pretty reputable, but some might just offer spot and that's it when you actually have a lot more value there. Right now, the buybacks at Atmex and JM Bullion, or I think JM posts their buyback prices too. Atmex and SD, it's about a buck, buck and a quarter, something like something like that over spot. You're going to pay more for that today. 
that's how they make their money. They have to they have to support their infrastructure and and make a little profit in it too. But you put those coins away, and I really feel like uh, within the next few years uh, they're going to be worth a whole lot more. Besides that, compared to all the other stuff you could be buying, any other consumer item is almost worthless after a year. So buying a few coins that always retain their spot value isn't too bad. So anyway, let's go shopping real quick. I had some fun doing this while I was putting together yesterday's video. Just looking at all the special goofy coins that were up for offer. I, I kind of put a wall of shame page up on that video. You should check it out. I know it's very, for YouTube, it's very long, 11 minutes, but most people drop off at four minutes no matter what. Anyway, uh, what's what's on sale? We're going to go through all the bullion dealers here really quick. What have we got? We got bunny rabbits. Don't buy them. Uh, coins from Europe. Those are all gold, and I don't know what they are. Not sure of the liquidity there. Huge bars of silver. Not my bag. Not my bag. And a woman at a spinning wheel, it appears, from Massachusetts. I doesn't spark my interest. Vintage stuff. I don't really, you know, this is stuff I don't know what I'm buying. Don't don't buy stuff you don't know you're buying. I mean, all the other stuff, if you see, uh, if you see that it's 0.999 silver, it's a great design and it was minted yesterday. To me, that is better than something that I don't know what the heck it is. Let's look down here. Uh, one other thing caught my eye on the Atmex site. We have an $11,000, 11995 What a bargain for a 1925 Italy gold 100 lira Vittorio Emanuel the third and again uh, I'm sure that thing is worth a lot of money but I don't know what I'm doing so I wouldn't touch it what's going on over here at SD this one here Yale of Buford if you haven't started the Queen's Beast series yet uh, I would get this I would start I would get one and see what you think about it when you hold it. It's a nice two ounce coin. Uh, I started with this series uh, just last year. I started buying collectible coins just about 18 months ago. And I had to backfill. I had to go find lions to fill in with. And boy, am I glad I did because even though I started late and went back and backfilled from the 2016 lion, and I think there was another one, uh, the dragon I had missed, had come out before I even got into any of this. I backfilled on those, and they were both still good investments. But it's nice to have the whole series. They're two ounces of fine silver, going to be very liquid, very recognizable, super popular series. I just got my Yale of Buford in and uh, just stuck it with the others. Now, I, Right now, I'm waiting for that big bad boy 10-ounce uh, silver bowl because I decided that I would also get the 10-ounce series. You could probably spend your whole life savings on the entire series because they have gold, all that kind of stuff. I don't see anything here that catches my eye today. Just the usual standard stuff. What's going on at uh, Provident Metals? This is where I recommend the very best price this week on American Silver, Sil American Silver Eagle Randoms. This South Korean series, this uh, Z Sin, and also their Chai Wu series. Something about these Korean coins, man, they've got their very high detail for BU. They do have proofs, uh, but the detail is fantastic, and they are selling well. They're not going up crazy in value. Uh, the, first, the first of this series, I had to actually backfill by going and finding a proof. Comsco, this is the Korean Mint something company. 
uh, but that's the official mint of South Korea. But the, the coins are really good looking, really cool, really popular. I think that they're going to go up in value a lot over time. Right now, they've inched up. I'm not down. I'm up, even from retail price. I think I've, uh, I'm up a couple bucks on each one. Nothing amazing yet, but this Scrofa is really great because it's the first female warrior design that they have. You know, I don't buy all this goofy stuff. I don't buy bullets, silver bullets. What am I going to do with a silver bullet? I don't buy these dragons. However, you know, people that are really into uh, Game of Thrones, they love them. They really love them. And there's just some standard bullion. Let's see what JM's got going on. JM is pushing their 2019 Silver Eagles. Again, chat me up, argue. Tell me why I should be paying more for 2019s than I am for randoms. Tell me why those are going to be more valuable. All right. Nothing. I don't see anything exciting going on here. Um, they're pushing the South Korean silver. Here's another example of, of one of those South Korean coins. Aren't those cool? Yeah, they sell pretty well. And look, not too expensive. If you pay cash or check, $20.40, I think that'll be a $25 coin next year. I really do. Because they are popular. Okay, what's going on at Bold Precious Metals? Well, I'll tell you what's going on at Bold Precious Metals. This is more... Um, they ha they ca they have a lot of very interesting collectibles come out and uh, just went out of view. Look at this. I even mentioned this. I mentioned this in my video yesterday, this dragon and tiger. I wouldn't buy it now, but I was bragging that it had gone up to $60. It, uh, at Bold, they're selling them for $77. This is one I bought. I'll have to refer to the video again because I forget, but I think I, hold on a second, I'll tell you. Yeah, I paid $31.50 for that coin, and Bold now has it for 77 Crazy. I just, okay, here's the speculation of the day. I bought four of these today. Now that, oh, you probably can't, it's too big now. Hold on a minute. Want that? Let's go back here. Okay, I bought four of these big five lion or big. F that's not a lion. These big five elephants today. Why? Again, from my list of things to look for. From yesterday's video, remember that slide? Did you go and watch? Did you go and watch and click the subscribe button? Do that, would you? Anyway, the elephant. This guy meets all of my what to look for. Okay. This is what I was talking about yesterday, and this is why I bought the elephant today. It has high-quality detail. It has a very bold and timeless theme, appealing design. Who doesn't like elephants? Pachyderms are awesome. Limited mintage. This one is 15,000 mintage. Uh, well-known but limited series, okay? This is not a well-known series, but it is, boom, 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 bottom line, first of the series, first. And guess what? Pre-sale. So this one ticked off all kinds of boxes on my what to buy. Now, is it cheap? No. It's $47.53. But my experience has shown me that people will want these first editions. This is the first of a new series, and I like the way the first one looks. And I'm pretty sure that they will follow up with next year and the year after and year after with at least this level of quality and striking appearance. So probably I would say I'm paying forty-seven fifty-three. This is a gamble on my part, but I'll say they sell for seventy-nine to ninety-four dollars next year. 
That's how I'm playing the collectibles market. I doubt silver. I would love to see uh, spot silver go up that high too. But I don't think it will go up to $94 an ounce. This will go from here to that range most likely. And I'll be here next year and we can revisit this video and everyone can point and laugh at me if I'm wrong or I get to point and laugh at anybody that told me I was crazy for spending forty-seven thirty-three on one ounce of silver. I had one person say, uh, uh, let's see, what did I put up? I put up uh, one of the Golden State Mint coins I thought was really cool. Uh, gosh darn, what was the name of that one? Cosmic King, Cosmic King. I thought he was just a bad looking dude, great looking coin. I bought some uh, just just to have it because it was a great design. Uh, I don't like all of Golden State Mint stuff, but pretty much this was this was pretty awesome. Anyway, the remark on Facebook was it was thirty five dollars. I can get an ounce of silver for for seventeen bucks. Like, yeah, that's right. You could also buy paint cheaper than you can scrape it off the Mona Lisa. It's just not even a, a good argument. It's just not the same thing. It's not, it's not, you know, actually, I can buy an ounce of silver for even less than $17. I can get it for 69 cents over spot, maybe 49 cents over spot if I buy a, a big, huge bar of it. That doesn't make any sense. This is artwork, and, uh, you know, I could walk around anyone's house and look at what they've got tacked on their wall. I happen to have this in my safe. I could look at what people have up on their wall that they enjoy this art and say, oh, I could buy uh, uh, four sticks of wood that make a frame and a hanger for a lot less than you paid for that painting. Let's forget that argument. I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, I am going to sign off. We are going to watch and see what gold and silver do next week. It might be an exciting week. I don't know. We will have a check at 4 p.m. I won't be here. You check at 4 p.m. Hotspotmetals.com live charts. And I'll probably see you again tomorrow night. Thanks for spending a little time with me on a Sunday afternoon. Hit that subscribe button. Need some subscribers here. All right. Chris, signing off.